Hi, so I want a gaming table. However, I am, how you say, on a tight budget. But I still want a super cool gaming table that's not just like a normal dining room table that I can host D&D &D and play all my fun board games. But mostly D&D, &D, if we're being honest. If you've been in the tabletop community for like a second, you have for sure seen those videos of the cool setups, the cool divot in the tables, all these fun bells and whistles, and I want that. So I've decided to use my vast knowledge, which is completely nothing, about carpentry to build myself a gaming table. So let's get into it. First off, somewhere on the screen or in voiceover, we shall see in post, I made my sketches of what I wanted this table to be. So let me lay all my metaphorical cards on the metaphorical to be made table. I have a desk in my apartment that I've had for years from the furniture overlords known as Ikea. And I love this table, I think it looks pretty cute and it works in the space. However, it is by no means big enough to be even considered a small dining room table. So I had the brain blast idea to build an attachment onto this table so I wouldn't need to build a full table because Lord knows I do not have the ability to do that. So here's the deal. In my sketches, you will see the main white desk. And then I thought I could buy a big plank of wood. That is the size that's gonna fit in my apartment space. The table would be about three feet by six feet. I think it's a pretty good size. And because I'm also a basic I love hosting dinner parties and brunches, and I love having people over, even when it's not a game night, even though it always turns into a game night. If you're coming over to my place, we're going to play one game or another. So I had this idea to make it a two-in-one table. So one side, it's just a regular dining room table that's flat and normal looking that I can just put a tablecloth on top for hosting dinners and things but then flip it over and the other side has the fun gaming divot and has space for other people to actually put their character sheets and then in the middle you can roll dice and the dice won't roll off the table because the gaming divot is in the middle. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's probably on my little sketches right now. The challenge is this plank of wood is going to be a lot bigger than this small desk that is 20 inches by 50 inches, which I don't know what the, it's about, like a one and a half feet by 12, 12, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Four, four feet? Post Taylor, do the math for me, please. You have a calculator. The plank of wood is going to be quite a bit bigger than the actual desk. So the problem is trying to make it secure so one person doesn't lean on the table and it just goes and it just smacks and knocks out my friends. So if you'll see my plans, I tried to figure out a way to secure the gaming table to my desk. I originally had thought maybe some hinges and then like a little locking mechanism as you can see in the, the pictures, but that felt a little bit too convoluted. So to help me work out this problem, I went to my dad and he had the great idea to basically build a table on top of that table. So to get cylindrical legs to basically stabilize the table. And because I want the table to be reversible and come apart easily, we decided to put these long bolts into these legs, if that makes sense. That way, when it, you reverse the table, you can put it in both sides. So have fun watching this vlog footage of my dad and I going to the hardware store. Hardware store. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Christmas. Sink. Trellis. So much wood. Well, it's a really big staff. Just imagine pulling up to the, to the combat with this. This guy knows his wood. Good thing, good thing I got him. I'm healthy! Yay! <laughs> it's a big rut. <laughs> Sorry. Hey dad, how tall am I? Not a success. Now time to build this thing. Before we move on to the build, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Deep Forge Studios. Deep Forge Studios has created a 5e supplement called Wicked Echoes, Whispers of the Semodiva. It's a Kickstarter that's bringing real folk horror to your D&D table that you've never seen before. There's over 300 pages of Grimdark, a folklore-inspired horror fantasy setting that is the perfect mix of creepy and adventurous. 
Imagine a setting shrouded in misty forests and haunted farmlands, full of ancient spirits, terrifying bosses, and mysterious NPCs. And you can dig into some truly twisted characters with over 12 new subclasses like the Veil Warden Paladin, who summons a spectral steed, or the Fortune Teller Sorcerer, who can literally manipulate the threads of destiny. This project brings a full set of new exciting mechanics and creepy aesthetics to your game. And we all know how much D&D is missing that horror and that creepy, eerie vibes. So this is perfect if you want to get into some spooky, folklore-inspired fantasy. And there's over 12 new mystical species. We're talking candle-like tallows, beastly soul glaives, and cookers who wear ghost-warding masks to protect their allies. Imagine running into a wendigo in the forest, or running into the Samodivas, beautiful spirits one minute, and then ghostly hags the next, who are definitely not here to help you. And in my opinion, the coolest part of this new supplement, the corrupting darkness mechanic. It's a darkness that affects everything in this world, and it slowly corrupts and twists your characters into shadows and shells of themselves. So imagine all the roleplay opportunities as your characters start to become more ghastly and more hollow. Food for thought. And don't worry, it's not just for D&D 5e, it can also work for 2024 D&D as well. It also has seamless VTT integration and spooky online tarot decks and a Ouija board that goes with the world. So you can weave your own fate or talk with the spirits in game or out of game. Who knows? I don't know what you're into. So check out Wicked Echoes on Kickstarter and get this super cool new supplement. The links are down in my description below, so go check them out. Now, back to the build. Okay, so we're gonna build the gaming table. This is good one side plywood. This is the good side for the gaming table, which uh, is gonna have these pieces of wood on top. It's gonna be in like a, a rectangle, which is gonna fit to my desk that it's gonna go on top, but then it's also when it's on the gaming table side, gonna have like a little lip so that we can roll dice and not be worried that it's gonna fall off the table so that it can be multifunctional. These dowels are gonna go in here and then, so they're gonna keep it steady so that you can have it either way and the table can be flipped on either side. It'll make sense, it, you will understand, it'll come together. Magic of editing. My classic glasses on glasses. <clears throat> Safety first, everyone. Emmy, yeah. Half of 21 to is um, 10 and a half. 13. Oh. So what is half of three quarters? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> table complete okay look at this it's got the legs for extra support so if someone's over here and then this is the play area this is the play area with the nat 20. that's a nat four the side so that pe can, people can put their drinks and their characters and then this i'm gonna paint it so i'm gonna make a grid i think on the inside so that i don't even have to like get out the maps i mean i will get out the maps but if i just need a grid i have a grid probably and then i'm gonna have cool D, D stuff and then the dm side against this fun little wall actually has more space so i can sit here see my see my minions yeah 19 19 oh, that was pretty good yes see the table can be used for brunch too so that's my table. I'm actually really proud of it. I am by no means a carpenter, but it really held up. In the brunch clips, it was perfect, and I had a lot of weight on that table, and I wasn't worried about it falling or tipping over. So it works really, really well, and I think it's actually a perfect size for the space. But eventually, and maybe in another video if you like this, I want to paint the gaming side of the table. I want to paint a D&D mural. I have all these concepts in my mind of what I want it to look like basically the outside is gonna have cool designs dragons characters from the lore or oh my gosh i just thought of this what if i had the diagram on the outside of all the planes that would be so cool i don't know my mind is working a mile a minute we shall see if you like it i 
will for sure do it. I mean, either way I'm gonna do it, but if you like it, I'll film it. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you so much for coming along and watching this build all the way to the end. If you liked it and you have any comments, put a little hammer in your comment so I know you watched it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know when I post a video, but I normally post a video every Saturday and then shorts every day. And I would like to thank Deep Forge Studios once again for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so, so much. Check out the links in my description below. And if you would like to support me in the channel, think about signing up for my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And if you want to see some spicy RPG Reddit horror story videos, I also post those there. So if you want to see any of those, check out my Patreon. And I'd like to take a moment to thank my new Tavern Wanderer patrons, Shane Martin. Thank you so, so much. And Jesus, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you both. And thank you, John Doe, for becoming a Tavern Wanderer patron. Thank you, Dakota Ladson, for becoming a Tavern Adventurer patron. I appreciate you. And a very, very special thank you to my Tavern Legends patrons, Jason Simmons, I appreciate you so, so much. And Michael Joseph, thank you both so, so much. And thank you to all of my patrons that are scrolling up the screen now. I appreciate you all and thank you so much. It really helps me continue to create content and make things that you enjoy. Well, that's all for now. I will see you in the next one.